What are we doing today? We're going to Greenfield Village for <gasps> fall flavor month. Weekends. Day. Time for the wristbands as well. Well, we need it to get to where we're going. <laughs> on the train. Right? We're going train. Huh. Look, so you're doing something in the field. Huh. Got our ride tickets. Yeah, yeah. Not too tight. Or not too loose. I think last time it was so this freaking place. loose. Is this good? Yeah. Awesome. So we, this is the Firestone Farm. This is the actual farm park. And uh, we're going to be walking up to a house that was, is it Henry Firestone? I think so. It's Henry Firestone's house. And obviously, you know who Henry Firestone is. There were two fire... Was his name Henry too? Maybe it wasn't Henry. I asked if it was and you said yes. Well, I thought about it for a second. Now I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. Just think this so, is Vintage farming equipment. So do you want to tell them what Greenfield Village is? Yes, it's Henry Ford's living museum of many stages of U.S. history. Henry Ford collected uh, a bunch of houses and buildings from people in U.S. history. Let's go. Like the Firestone Farm, whose name, first name we can't remember. Edison. It's Henry Ford himself. His, his own stuff is here. Uh, Weber, Weber Dictionary, the Wright Brothers. Um, and he brought them to this village. There's the Firestone Farmhouse. And it's right behind the Henry Ford Museum. It is. And so each of these houses and buildings, they're all period pieces. Um, so this one is the Firestone Farm, whatever. The Firestone lived here. And they do farming practices out here. Um, that is comp that they would have done during that time. Life horse droppings. Censor that out. Okay, cool. Hmm. I take it they just stay here. I mean, there's oh. nothing stopping them from leaving. Nope. They get their food here. And their chicken coop somewhere over there. Chicken oh. coop. It's like an outhouse. <laughs> it's probably like an um, old-fashioned version of an iPhone sitting in there. <laughs> and they're making apple butter over here. <laughs> so yes, I'm just keeping an eye on the apple butter right now. Because in the long run, it does feed me, and so I wouldn't want it burnt. And so I'll take the sacrifice of an extra 10 minutes outside to keep an eye on the apple butter itself. Uh, but there is, there is a recipe card here for the apple butter if anyone would like to uh, take it home, try it, and put it on whatever your heart desires. Like peanut butter, apple butter goes great on everything. Um, and also, if you wanted to substitute the apples for two cans of pureed pumpkin and, also, and add two cups of apple cider, you would get pumpkin butter. And honestly, pumpkin butter is... The smell and taste is the epitome of mold. So I encourage that also. But after you folks have any questions, feel free to ask us. You're more than welcome to head on to the barn. The actual barn that Harvey Firestone grew up Harvey. and worked in. And at the uh, end of the barn, you'll see our breeding ram, close. General Sherman, and our two-month-old calf, Dave. Ooh. These apples are from their own orchard. <laughs> Over there. Oh, yeah. Chicken. Chicken. They said the two-year-old, what, two-month-old calf. calf. We missed the calf. We saw a bunch of lambs earlier in the spring. Every time I step in here, it smells like barn. Thank you. When I used to ride horses. Is this the ram we usually see? I think so. His horns are pretty big.
Welcome everyone. You just stepped into the year 1885 here on Firestone Farm where you would have seen Harvey Firestone who would go on to create the Firestone Tire Rubber Company. He's 16 at this time and he's working on his father's Marino sheep farm and you're seeing us do what he would be doing around this time and that's sitting down to our midday dinner. And there's a lot of fresh things coming out of our garden which we're really excited about. We've got fresh beets. Um, we've got um, what kind of new Heidelberg cabbage. Um, we do have um, some um, squash, um, our Turks turkey squash. Um, a lot of, and we do have some um, some pork that we actually got from the pigs that we butchered over the winter. And we have a lot of different colors that you can see because it is this time of year fall. We're here getting so much use. You can just take a deep smell and all these different types of smells that let you know what kind of what time of year it is. Fall harvest time. Right. How are you enjoying your day in Greenville Village so far? Good times. It's hard to not be interested in ice cream. It's closed anyway. Yeah, They're right. closed for the season. Oh. Oh. I have no comment. No comment. Isn't that the place where you get the cookies? I don't want a cookie. Yes. I'm just saying. Giant cookies as big as your head. This isn't one we normally go to. We've been to it a few times. I know, but <clears throat> there seem to be certain houses that we go to like every time we're here, like the Firestone Farm. This isn't one of the usual ones, although I have been in here. And I'm assuming that's roof work right there, attaching that old sign to the roof. Well, they might actually be like original to the house because I mean, they line their walls with newspaper. And if I remember, they were very poor. Cardboard. In the newspaper. Yeah, I used to wallpaper with those because it was all insulation. Look at put newspaper down. Some hexagon, hexagon quilt. Uh, go right ahead. There. Although people have been looking at it. We don't endorse it, but I'm not, I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Yeah, that's so cool. And then we have. This is always an interesting house. And look, cooking demonstrations today. Very orange fall trees behind us. Oh, that's awesome. The Susquehanna Plantation House. It's so bright out today. Yeah, it is. Because it puts all the, um, the little bugs in the Another really interesting house. 
It's like a sustenance farming. Deep drop straight down. And they'll keep doing this process over and over and over again until the seed in front of them is the only thing on the ground. And then they put all the seed in the barrel and make flour out of it. And what do we make out of flour? Everything. <laughs> Dumplings. There we go. Now we got some wind going. So they'll keep doing it. Sound like a lot of fun? Yeah. You can do this for days and days straight, weeks for Discipline. Weeks. <laughs> I like the other machine better. <laughs> so did they. So now just the wheat was about this high, and they, they harvest it, and they let it sit aside and let it dry out, because it's easy to get the seeds off the seed head. And up here, the chaff, the stuff that basically holds huh. the outer house, holds it to the stalk is white, and the seeds are brown. That was a pretty big head there, so we got quite a few greens off of it. Everybody see it? Turn flailing your arm. Stop flailing about. Now, this is where it comes from. You guys might want to take a couple steps back. I'm not going to hit you, but you never know, right? <laughs> so I'm going to use this. This is ash. This is probably oak. So there's a weight difference. I'm going to use that weight difference to get this up and over. Let me see what I mean in a second. So I'm going to sit there. I'm not on the train. <laughs> What do you think, Ron? That was fun. I'm tired, I'm pretty thirsty, and I want some beer. <laughs>